And yeah, everyone, this is Thermite, and this is the Weekly Updates. As always, very first link down below is Weekly Shonen Jump. Please check it out. Right below that, you will find Chainsaw Man, chapters 128 to 129. And below that, you will find Dragon Ball Super, chapters 53 to 55. Uh, this is continuing, or starting, I suppose, my new hopeful schedule of if I have time to do another series that is not Jump and that is not Chainsaw Man, because I'm trying to keep up on Chainsaw Man, uh, it'll be Dragon Ball Super. And hopefully, if I continuously do Dragon Ball Super, I can get at least up to Superhero. And then, uh, from what I've been told by Gummu on the server, uh, after that, it seems like the next arc is adapting Superhero. So I feel like that's probably a good point to stop, uh, you know, tackle some of the other series I'm doing on the channel, and then, you know, read that arc whenever it's finished. So, we're going to keep that up. Uh, as a result, uh, you know, there's a link down there. Uh, next week, there should be another Dragon Ball Super and so on and so forth until I probably need to go to the U.S. or something and take a quick hiatus. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, do retry new series by the creator of uh, Bone Collection and Jun Kirarazaka. Honestly, way better than I was expecting. Also, you know, I, I won't say what it's about. Check it out. You know, l read it blindly if you haven't read it already. I, I would say that I really like the first chapter. And I, I think a lot of people are going to like it. Like, I'm really, really hoping it sticks around. Uh, compared to the other two new series, you know, not super hot into them. Kill Blue, I'm giving it the next chapter. But, uh, you know, it's not hooking me. Whereas, like, this first cha chapter really, really hooked me. But, yeah, apart from that, nothing a whole lot to really say about it. You know, still loving my hero, still loving uh, the One Piece, absolutely loving Loose of Samurai. Holy crap, this week's chapter. It, oh, like, it, I feel like it was just a couple of weeks ago where I was like, we're in a new era of Loose of Samurai. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> now I feel like we are in yet another new era of Loose of Samurai. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this series is blowing my mind. But yeah, that's that. Uh, see you next week, I suppose. Uh, I feel like there's something else I should have said. Oh, actually, 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 okay. Uh, bye for now, unless you are currently caught up with One Piece. The next thing I have to say is a One Piece thing that I realized while I was editing the video, and I want to say it because I feel like I'm not going to remember to say it next week. Okay, now that the non-One Piece readers have left... Uh, <laughs> In the current arc, it just hit me as I was editing the One Piece thing that, um, like, there's, we're definitely going to, how do you put it? Like, we've got Bonnie, and she is looking through Kuma's memories right now, and we've seen a little bit of what she's looking at, but not too much. We're clearly going into a flashback there. Now, uh, as of this chapter, Sabo just said, like, I'm going to tell you the truth about what happened to Lucia, or, you know, no, what happened to, uh, at the Reverie, and I feel like we're going to do an interesting, like, cut between those two flashbacks. Or I don't know exactly how we're going to do it, because I don't think we'd be cutting, like, from Bonnie's perspective to uh, Sabo's perspective. But I feel like we're going to do something where Sabo does the flashback. You know, we see that, you know, he was saving Kuma and all that. We see whatever he saw, like, he learns probably about em uh, Emu. And then from there, I feel like we're going to dovetail into... Uh, like, seeing what Bonnie is seeing. Because that way we could do a, like, here is, you know, what Kuma was like at that moment. And, you know, like, the end of his story in a weird way until, like, the end of his story as far as we know up until, you know, present day. Then we cut to Bonnie. Then we see his backstory. We understand everything that led him to this point. And then we can cut to present day where he's, like, you know, climbing the red line, going wherever he's going. And, like, whether that is, I, I still think it's Egghead. I still think he's being called towards Egghead. But it's possible that he's also going to, like, uh, like, maybe he's going for, like, directly back to, um, you know, the Celestial Dragons or just back to Mary Joa to do something. That's also very possible. Because I could see it being something where, like, you know, all of this was to get Kuma in Mary Joa, like if like if uh like a Vegapunk big brained it and thought, you know, I think that Kuma is going like Kuma is going to like, I don't know, assassinate not Emu, but you know, like maybe, you know, the, the uh, world elders or something. Yeah. 
<laughs> and he wasn't able to quite pull it off, and then he got removed from the location. I could see this being a big, like, wait, 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 my directive says I need to be in that location or to carry out the plan, so I gotta get there real fast. Because <laughs> that's, like... Yeah, you know, we're he's very clearly scaling the red wall. He's very clearly like you know going up. It seems to Mary Joa, and I, like my gut kept telling me he's probably going to egghead. But realistically, stepping back and thinking about it all, it doesn't make any sense. He's got to be going to Mary Joa, right? Right. Anyways, uh, that's where I'm at right now. I think this is just a a quick fix, and so I think it's going to be we see uh. Uh, Sabo's perspective uh, he doesn't know that Kuma is supposed to be there but he, he learns a little bit of Kuma but we're mostly focusing on like you know the evil of Mary Joa then we cut to uh, back to Egghead we cut to uh, Vegapunk Vegapunk also talks about the evil of Egghead and like the plan that he had with Kuma uh, we cut to Bonnie Bonnie is seeing you know Kuma's past and had the entire plan Kuma had that needs him to be in like in Mary Joa then we cut to the present and we see Kuma in Mary Joa having finally climbed up there and then he's going to do the thing that's my prediction and if you have not caught up with One Piece, you shouldn't have been here for it. But maybe you're listening to this like a podcast while you're out for your run or something. I know, it happens. Sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Thank you for continuing to support the channel. Um, if you're into my fiancé stuff, check out Donut's Patreon. There's some really cool One Piece stuff there. There's some really good MCU content that I'm a part of. Um, banging Yu-Gi-Oh! reactions. It, very good, like, uh, Congo Boncho reactions. I believe they're finally, finally coming out. I don't know for sure, but I think they're finally coming out. Uh, the first one for sure. But yeah, check all of that stuff out. Bye for now. Yeah, yeah. Now I have to turn it off manually because I turned off my button that automatically turns off the recording because I was cutting off the actual stream with it.